Hey guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Corinne. I'm an LPN student. I just wrapped up my first semester of nursing school. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the TEAS exam. Alright, so what is the TEAS exam? The TEAS exam is designed to test your academic ability, your comprehension, and how well you are prepared for the health sciences. Now, this test is well over, I believe, 100 questions, like 150 to 175 questions. I forgot exactly how much. I will definitely drop the details below and actually give you guys a link to the people that designed this test. So now I'm going to get into the materials that I used. Now, the first book that I'm going to share with you guys, I actually don't have with me on hand, but it was an anatomy and physiology quick review, and I got that off of Amazon. I'm going to actually put a picture here, somewhere on the screen. It's going to be like here, probably here. And I forgot. I think I spent like maybe like 7 to $10. Don't quote me. I'll leave all of that when I'm done. I don't know why I just didn't have that prepared, but I'll leave. I'll probably put the price here on screen but I could tell you that book really helped me out when it came down to the science section and I was actually pressed for time I actually had about like two weeks to study and just to get into that real quick before I even show you guys the books that I used I actually was supposed to take the T's 5 exam so I was studying for that once upon a time but then I got pregnant threw everything off and then I ended up having to take the T6. Now they do kind of switch up the exam but for the most part I think the only thing that they changed was the science part. Now the main book that I used and pretty much a lot of people have used this book this is the ATIT secrets book. You guys can see but yeah this was the main book that I used and I'm telling you, like, it really broke down every section, especially the science section. Now I went through this book and I answered every practice question in here just to get myself familiar. But before I went through this book, I went through the official ATIT's study manual. Now, I know a lot of people will say that this book is very vague, and it is. It really is. But these are the people that made the test, and I pretty much use this as a study guide. So you just want to go through it and did it have practice questions? Yes, it did. I'm sorry. It did have practice questions in here, like as you did the reading, but not as heavy as it is in this book. Like when I got this book compared to the T5 manual, I was like, what did they do to the exam? Like what's going on? Because it's like half the size of the T's 5 manual. Um, but definitely just use this as a study guide. Now there's a third book that I bought. And I don't know if I bought this prior to the Mometrics book. But anyways, this is the other one that I bought. Strategic Test Prep Solutions. Now, I really did not use this book like that. I kind of just used this as a backup just to like test my skills again. And kind of like refresh and just review. And just to see if there's anything that I missed. I feel like it was kind of like all over the place. Now, this is a good book. If you do have this book, do not throw it away. It is thorough, but I just feel like it's not as organized as the Mometrics book. Also, I wanted to share with you guys, this same company or people, Mometrics, they have a website. They even have like YouTube channels or something like that where they go over each section. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll leave a link below. Also an app, and I want to say it was like Tease Mastery or something like that. I'm going to tell you guys, that helped me. I use that app literally every single day. I would use that app like in my free time and just go through it. But it really helped me out, and I'll leave a link for that below. All right, so now let's get into the sections. core concepts being tested in this section are algebraic equations, linear equations, word problems, percentages and proportions, know your conversions, know how to solve fractions because it's heavy on there. You do need to know your formulas as well. Units of measurement, know your place values, know the difference between positive and negative numbers. Also, there is a calculator on this test when you're taking the exam, it's like in the right hand corner. We were not allowed to bring calculators, like nothing. So we had to use the calculator on the exam. But the resources that I used to study for the math section, this was Keshwani Prep, and he has a page on Pinterest, and that's how I found him. Let me tell you, this guy is like golden. He goes through the entire book, 
problem by problem by problem i don't know if he has like an updated t6 version but i know that when i was studying for the t5 at the time i went through every video and he was like amazing um i will leave a link for him below i believe he has youtube because that's how his videos come up on pinterest bless you papa also registered rn i believe i used her too because she went over a few things i believe and also khan academy is another one like they're big but if you go to their website on your mobile phone it's kind of set up like an app and you could kind of like just breeze through it and it actually has like different tabs where it just keeps up with like your progress and they give you different examples so you can like you know go through test questions you know fill them out and they'll give you like rationales if you got things wrong <laughs> All right, so now on to the English section. And with the English, you just need to know standard English, know your vocabulary, know your grammar, know um, acquisitions, know punctuation, know conjunctions, know the difference between fragments and run-on sentences, know your subject, your adverbs, your verbs, and you definitely wanna know about root words, prefixes, and suffixes. But that's pretty much it for the English section. So with the reading part, you need to know text evidence, the sequence of events as you're reading like the passages. You just want to know like how things go in order. You want to know what theme is, factor of opinion, you want to know how an author appeals to a reader's emotions. So yeah, the reading part is really like about comprehension. And for me, and I would suggest you guys do this, whenever I take a test and I'm going through like a reading section and there's like a big paragraph, I kind of just skim through it. I don't ignore it, but I just skim through it real quick, and then I'll peek at the question, I'll go through the answers, and then I'll go back to the paragraph. Now, with the reading section, you don't want to take too much time reading into things. You just want to go with your first answer, but make sure you just read it thoroughly. Like, go through the questions. I'm telling you, go through the questions, go through the answers, go through the options, and then when you go back, you just keep those, you know, those options in mind, and then you can just answer the question from there. Now, reading is not something that you could just learn in a week. It's not something that everybody's going to comprehend, especially if English is not your first language and you're struggling. Um, so if you are struggling academically with like English reading, I suggest that you guys take up like a literature class or just get some extra tutoring in before you take this exam because it does go beyond just knowing the English language. Like, Yes, we all know it, but do we really understand it, you know, when we're reading stuff? So you just got to keep that in mind. Now, on to the science section, and I saved the best for last. As I was explaining to you guys in the beginning of this video, I did use the Anatomy and Physiology Quick Review. It's a yellow book. I got it off of Amazon. I'll leave a picture of it again here because I don't know where the heck my book went think somebody took it and I actually still use that while I'm in nursing school because it's just like it, it kind of just really sums everything up and again if you are pressed for time this book is like gold now I'm not saying that you should ignore the study manuals you should definitely use them but I'm telling you like I really use that to just review everything so I'm gonna tell you right now everybody's test is different but for the most part I know everybody can attest on the T's exam it was heavy on the endocrine system lord was it it was really heavy you need to know your hormones you need to know i'm not even going to get into it because we're going to stay here all day talking about the endocrine system and i can tell you when it comes to nursing school that was a big test for all of us we were tested on the endocrine system heavy you really need to know about that know everything about it um but you do need to know all the body systems as well because you don't know what you're going to be tested on for my test i had endocrine system the urinary system it was big on that so i'm just telling you guys really study if you have taken an anatomy and physiology class that will really help you but i'm telling you you just want to brush up on everything because you'll be amazed at what they ask on this exam now also with this test you need to obviously know about the life sciences biology and scientific reasoning as well you also need to know like chemistry basics so cells and chemicals the difference between molecules lipids carbs um proteins you need to know the difference between organic and inorganic molecules, um, DNA, you need to know what that is. Now the resources that I used on top of my study manuals, 
this was again Khan Academy it's really big on science if you go online go to their YouTube follow them uh, use their website I'm telling you it helps out a lot and also crash course like that guy he's amazing he's hilarious at the same time so what I would do is I would just play videos while I was driving in the car like wherever I was going I would just make a playlist of those type of videos that I need to study and I would just listen to it wherever so yeah but yeah that's pretty much what is on the tease again I will leave more detailed information below in my description box of this video all right to wrap up this video I just want to stress to you guys preparation is key if you are looking to go into nursing school next fall 2019 do not wait until the last minute you want to make sure you get your materials and just get yourself accustomed to answering these type of questions over and over again now for me like i said i did study back in what was this 2015 or 14 when the t5 was still there but when i actually took the exam it was a t6 so even though I studied for like two or three months with the T's five, I ended up getting pregnant, not going through with the program. And then by the time that I wanted to get into the program, the T six was available. So I want to say I had like two weeks to really take the exam because I was like, I really want to get into this class. I really want to get into nursing school now because like I'm pregnant, you know, well, I wasn't pregnant anymore, but I'm like, now I just put it off for too long and I'm like, all right, I just want to get in. So, you know, I literally studied for like two weeks, but I passed. But that was just really preparation because I've studied before. I didn't wait until the last minute technically, even though it was the T6, I did study with the T5. And like I said, they really don't change it up that much, but you just want to be on the lookout and just keep up to date, you know, when it comes to this. Map out your days. Make sure that you set time aside to really study section by section. You don't have to drive yourself crazy. It's really not that type of a test. But again, like if you are struggling with a section, please give yourself time. Do not like cram because you're going to just be so stressed out when you take this exam. Also, I want to tell you guys, I did not buy any other materials. Like I did not buy the practice questions from ATI or anything like that. I was not trying to be out here just buying 20 million things. But those practice questions, I think they were a little expensive. And I think that's why I was like, oh, I'm not doing that. You know, I already gave these people my money to enroll for the exam itself. So I was just like, I'm good. But I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't do it. If you bought them already, that's great. That way you already know like what you're walking into. But I can tell you like I took the exam and I scored pretty high and I got into my program and this was my first try. So um, with that said, you guys, if you did fail the first try, you can take it over. Don't beat yourself up. Just know that you got to really prep and buckle down for the next one.